Ciao, you team of the world. My name is Giuseppe. Welcome back on the channel. I hope you're all doing well and you are prepared for a new video where we will speak about an important thing, a thing that we all love, I believe, it's Juventus. We will speak about Juventus. What will we speak about today? A lot, a lot. Mercato, eh, Renato Sanchez, Oliveira, all these kind of names that we are used to read since a few days. But there is a new player linked to Juventus, a player from Arsenal. Who is it? Who is it? We will discover it together. Some players has already renewed their contract. Two players renewed their contract. Is it Dybala? No, not at the moment. Who are these players? We'll also discover and discuss about that. Chiellini, what is thinking about uh, Dybala without contract at the moment what is he thinking about the Scudetto we speak about all these kind of things but most important tomorrow there is Sampdoria versus Juventus Massimiliano Allegri he will speak in the afternoon let's see what he will say but I'm sure he will say don't focus too much on Juve Villarreal of Champions League heads towards the game of tomorrow 6 p.m. Italian time so put a maximum of like subscribe to the channel let me know if you are feeling home in that new background I'm drinking a bit of coffee and we'll see each other after the intro. Italian pages, we start immediately with Corriere dello Sport because most of the time, not always, but most of the time Corriere dello Sport is not speaking that much about Juventus that goes really, really fast. So what are they focusing today? They are focusing on the win of Roma yesterday versus Vitesse, the Dutch Netherlands team. They won 1-0, it is what it is, Conference League, and then they are focusing on the words of Gianluigi Buffon that played at Paris Saint-Germain at PSG, speaking to the fans, saying no harassment, no bullying to towards the young Gianluigi Donnarumma. I made a mistake, like Nermat said, it is football. This kind of thing happens. No worry, it is harsh, absolutely, yes. But apparently in France, they are really, really, really angry towards the young Italian goalkeeper that could become a Juve player and that today the papers are saying maybe he will be back in the target of Juventus in the future. Will he be a Juventus player or not? Let's see. Let's open the other pages. And then you see that uh, uh, Corriere dello Sport is speaking about the words of Chiellini about Dybala yesterday. And that will be the next topic. Gazzetta dello Sport is showing actually the famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci, La Gioconde with Mona Lisa. That we know it from the Italian side. They are always complaining because that painting is in Le Louvre in Paris in France. They are asking, give us back that painting, like they are asking uh, in the in Gazzetta dello Sport, give us back Gianluigi Donnarumma. Torna a casa Gigio, come back home. This is what Gazzetta is asking, home, that's beautiful, but where home? Because at Milan, I'm sure he will never be back at Milan, especially after Mignon joining them and doing actually objectively quite well. So where can he go with a lot, lot, lot of money? We know that Inter, they already bought on. Nana, eh, he has a, having a high salary that Roma is not able to pay, Lazio is not able to play, so there is only one possibility and it is Juventus. Juventus is the only one that can go for Donnarumma. One football is asking, Juventus renews his interest in Paris Saint-Germain Gianluigi Donnarumma? Yes, apparently yes, because Donnarumma will never be totally forgotten, but not for next summer. Why? First of all, because Chesney is still our goalkeeper, that's reason number one, and secondly, because you know that there is that tax benefit when players are abroad for more than two years uh, from two years they can go back in Italy and there is a lot less tax to pay so it can start to be beneficial if he comes back to Italy immediately after one year Juventus or another club will not be able to benefit from that tax reduction of 50% so if Juventus wants to go for Donnarumma it will be probably from next year, from the year later, 23, 20, uh, 23, 24. So let's be patient. Will Donnarumma will be will he be back in Italy? We will see it all together. We continue with the other news, guys. The news of the day with a, a beautiful one. Not only Chiesa was able to walk, we saw it a few days ago, but now he's also do, able to do some bicycle. But look at the left leg, mamma mia! The left leg is like that, guys. He will need a lot of work to come back, but he's training 
Trading Heart. King Kiesa, King Kiesa is back, guys. Uh, before we go to the other news, we have to speak about the injury update. Injury update uh, that they made a point, actually. 145 games were missed by Juve players from the beginning of the season until now. That's a lot. And to be honest, 112. So 77% of the games that were missed were due to muscular injury. Then you have, of course, the other ones, the knocks and so on. The traumas that are absolutely not muscular, but 100, 112 games. So 77% of the game missed because of muscular injury starts to be a real problem. Something that has to be investigated. That's one. But then also to find a solution because it's not possible that every year we have all these kind of problems and we are not able to rotate and to find really a plan. Something that we have to find out, guys, if you want to see a bit of close up from our players on socials app on the socials app you can go and you can vote for a player that will have a special player cam from the continasa to the stadium going and you see how he's reacting to the locker rooms and so on you can choose between four players chesney morata locatelli or danilo which player do you want to have the cam on you go on the socials app really easy and you vote for a player that you want so if you want to you can do it for the juve cam Toto sport and we continue with the sport related news Tuto Sport is speaking about Mercato we know that Tuto Sport they love speaking about Mercato and that's why also I love Tuto Sport because every day there is a new name now they're speaking about Juve Raspadori Milan Berardi so the players of Sassuolo all the big Italian teams they want to have and we know that Scamacca uh, Inter Fratesi Inter so uh, <laughs> a lot of players first before speaking about the other ones what about Raspadori and Dybala because that's what Tuto Sport is saying in the double page. Raspadori goes ahead. Dybala is waiting. Dybala is waiting for his uh, renewal. We know it. We already spoke so much about it. So I will not repeat everything. But now we have not only a fan base that is split about what to do with Paolo Dybala. Some want him to leave even for free. Other ones, they want him to renew even for 50 million a year so there is a big split between the fans but also the experts are split it here we see different uh, experts like uh, alto belli and so on and so on some are taking the yes we want dibala to renew the other ones are not because of salary because of tactical aspect because of physicality and his injuries and so on but what about the raspadori raspadori impressed juventus a lot they really like him also the big guys from italy that are playing with the national team they said that they were all impressed by the italian young player that scored already nine goals this season with Sassuolo they are saying he's a good one he's really a good one someone that can play a bit more on the left and we need someone on the left we don't know when Chiesa will be back and will when we he will be back will he play on the left on the right Raspadori can become a good option am I believing it partially that is interesting Juve probably yes but on the other side guys I told you already Scamacca and Fratesi are targets from Inter uh, Berardi is a target get from Milan. Juventus is going on Raspadori, there are four top players from Sassuolo, I don't believe that they will leave like that, I really don't believe that, so let's see what will happen there, I told you about renewals of players, yesterday Bangula, the young player that is 18, he signed a renewal until 2026 with Juventus, so Juventus youth team, the under 19 uh, club, he signed, he's from Belgium, guys, a new renewal, eh, Dybala is waiting, and Bangula, no, and then Valentina Cernoia from Juventus women, the number seven are really strong number seven she renewed until 24 as well another renewal so everyone is renewing the women the under 19 under 23 everyone is renewing except of the first team first team is has to wait after the break no during the break end of march what about chiellini about the scudetto he said guys the scudetto uh, i'm happy that the that the supporters are dreaming are believing and oh well i am more a balanced reality person at the moment it's not possible but we will try to do it step by step if the other ones they will lose more points and we will have done our job and we will be there why not believing but at the moment i am realistic and we have to focus on top four Chiellini has said the same thing that i am repeating you day after day after day no it is not over for the scudetto but being realistic first top four do our job win game after game after game and then we will see 
He spoke about Dybala because I told you everyone is renewing except of the first team. Dybala is waiting. Chiellini said, what is the problem? There is no problem because uh, me and also Leona, uh, Leo Messi, we were out of contract at the end of the season. He played Copa America. I played Euro. I won it. I gave everything. Even when I was playing at Juventus and that we lost the Scudetto, but I gave everything I had. 100% I had. I gave it on the field and that discussion about contract, it is new football. Players are going until the end of their contracts we have to put that aside focusing until the last day and then we speak about the new contract nice word wise word of a uh, capitano chiellini look at uh, the juan quadrado juan panita quadrado is also speaking about this contract and he's saying juve i stay here i stay here i am happy i am chill i am tranquillo okay i have the same problems as dibala because i don't know if i will renew i don't know what uh, how long i will renew what kind of salary but this is my family juventus is my family i want to stay here and until we find a solution i will give everything with a smile i love the words of quadrado i really love how he was speaking super important to give a bit of serenity in the atmosphere of juve what about uh, chelsea hey, juve chelsea yesterday we spoke i don't know if you saw the video about all the problems of Chelsea, but today we have to speak about uh, Rudiger. Rudiger, apparently there was already a meeting with Cherubini and the staff of Rudiger. They already had a meeting, Juventus already started to negotiate. He wants 10 million euro because he's uh, earning a bit less. He wants 10 million. Will Juventus be able to give that? I don't know. Is it a real start of a transaction, of a negotiation? Not yet at the moment, but Juventus is really interested. And I will tell you something, if we have to go for a new sentence, back Rudiger is a player that I really recommend and I really like what about the midfield I told you so much about Renato Sanchez uh, from Lille because he will leave Lille in the summer where will he go he asked also the teams to give him a bit of freedom a bit of time to think really about the different proposal we know that Milan is really hard on the player he wants to have the best project he's also thinking about Juventus but there is a new name Thomas Partey you remember two years ago we were speaking already on that channel every single day about Thomas Partey a player that I personally liked in the past he didn't convince me that much at Arsenal Juventus on Thomas Partey I don't know there are still also the other players eh? as usual Zagnolo, Pogba, Sergei Milinkovic Savage. Who will it be? I don't know, but the midfielder will join. Guys, we finish with another news. Allegri will find back some players for Saturday, luckily, because otherwise I don't know who would be able to play. Probably uh, we would have asked on YouTube, guys, are you free to play tomorrow? Because we miss some players. Alexandro uh, Alexandro and De Ciglio, they train full time with the team. Also, Chiellini. Chiellini will not be ready, but De Ciglio and Alexandro probably with the team already tomorrow. Dybala, not yet. So we have Dybala, Bonucci, Chiellini, Zaccaria, McKenny, Chies, and Caio Giorgi that will not be there. De Ciglio and Alexandro are back with the players. Quadrado that had some fever. He trained also with the team and he will be there. Guys, this was it for me for the video of today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you put a maximum of like. If I convinced you that you have to put that thumb up thank you forza juve